So you decided you wanted to save the world. One blade of grass at a time. <laughs> anyway, guys, got a nice old school real mower. It's 18 inches, in great shape. Uh, just cleaned it off. What does cleaning off mean? I just clean off the grass, get a quick pressure wash, and normally I paint the blades so they don't rust. What can I tell you? Anyway, the nice thing about these old units is that they've got a gear mechanism that uh, I've noticed a lot of the cheap ones like Canadian Tire has don't have. And let me explain. So basically, when you mow with it, see here as you pull back, the wheels just move and there's no movement in the gears, but then when you go forward, that's when the actual tines start doing their job. And of course it's height adjustable, you just adjust that roller in the back. Let's take it over the grass. So, got some grass here and some dandelions. Let's work it. I don't know if you see those uh, dandelion heads coming off. I actually just mowed my lawn. I should actually look for some longer grass. One moment. I guess this is a little bit longer. I guess I could have dropped its height too, but anyway. I think you see what I'm saying. She works really good. And let's face it, it's uh, people power, right? And, uh, you know, it does the job. If you catch a twig, you have to go back over it. And, uh, yeah. You can sharpen these things with a file you're so inclined to do so, although if you do set it to uh, close enough depth on the blade, they don't sharpen themselves. It's a good unit. Eh, you know, it's an 18 inch can tire, one of those yard works ones, I think about 180 bucks, and the steel they made it of is like paper. This one is from like the mid 60s, and the steel is, well, really good. So if you like the idea of saving the environment, not paying as much to gain tire, and getting one that's actually pretty good, you can see the tread on the tires, well, this is what you want. Send me a text, email, or phone call. Thanks guys.